Okay guys, what's up? Uh, this video is about what happens when you have issues with your USB drive. Uh, basically what happened to me is that I tried to load um, a version of Linux on this USB drive here and uh, I put it in another computer and it ran fine but then when I put it back on Windows it didn't work anymore. Um, I couldn't get this uh, I couldn't open it. Uh, there was access denied. It said it couldn't find the uh, location, but it showed up as my F drive and everything. So uh, I tried formatting it, and uh, it didn't work. Uh, up here at the top, it just said uh, unknown uh, file size, unknown disk size, and uh, it just gave me option for regular FAT, not even FAT32 or NTFS. So um, that wasn't going to work, so I tried even going into this PC, clicking on manage, and uh, going into the uh, disk management console. Uh, so I click here, and then you can see disk one, that's the disk, that's the USB drive. And it's all, I've already fixed it at this point, so I'm just kind of taking you through what happened, but I right clicked on this, and I tried uh, you know, creating a new volume and everything, and it said the volume was created, uh, but it wouldn't format. So I tried reformatting manually and uh, that didn't work. It said it couldn't find the disk location. So I tried uh, closing out of here and going into command. And when you do that, you have to uh, you have to go in under administrator. So make sure you click that. You're going to have to click OK on that. Once it comes up, uh, there's a utility. Uh, you just make sure it's under administrator when, when it comes up here. There's a utility called disk part and uh, that comes with Windows. And once you're in there, uh, you have to list the disks and you'll see them here. Disk one is my USB drive. Uh, then you have to select the disk, you have to select disk one. And then once you've done that, the disk is selected. And once you have the disk uh, selected, then uh, you can try to run the clean command. So here I am, I got, uh, I've got the disk selected. I tried to run clean and normally this works, but this time it didn't work. It just said that it couldn't access the media or uh, there was an access denied error. But anyway, even though that didn't work, uh, I ran another command and that was called convert GPT. I used that command and that command fixed it. It worked. And what that does is it changes the master boot record on the USB drive, not on your main hard drive where your operating system is, but the master, the USB drive actually has a master boot record. And it changes that to a Windows master boot record as opposed to a Linux master boot record. And that fixed it. Once that happened, um, uh, I went back in here I went to the management management the, the management console. Uh, went back to the uh, disk management over here, and then I was able to just right click over here and format. And uh, NTFS was already selected, so I just formatted it as NTFS, and it worked. It worked. So I'd been fighting with it for like two hours, uh, but it finally worked. So. Uh, and, and then even as a, another test, I went back in here and I right clicked here and reformatted it as uh, FAT32 uh, because I want the drive to be FAT32, it's a USB stick. So uh, as you can see here, it is now FAT32. So um, it fixed the drive, it worked, and I hope this helps you out guys because I fought with this for a long time, a couple of hours, and I did lots of research. And uh, I was even tempted to download some third-party software that I really didn't want. So uh, don't do that, guys. Uh, just go in here, try this. I hope it works for you. Uh, if this helped out, like and subscribe. And uh, let me know what you think. Um, I'll Hopefully I'll be back with some new videos, more tips. See ya.